The Touch ID sensor up opened up a whole new can of worms when it comes to jailbreak tweaks. There are so many new tweaks out that take advantage of the Touch ID sensor in the iPhone 5S, and this is one of the latest ones. It is called iTouch Secure. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, if you own an iPhone 5S, you absolutely must have this jailbreak tweak. And I'll explain why that is in a second. But first of all, let's look at some of the settings for iTouch Secure. You have a kill switch at the top, you have a setting for auto press OK. So this will auto submit uh, passwords that you have filled in using the Touch ID sensor. And then you have auto fill without Touch ID automatically. Uh, so this is for devices that do not have Touch ID sensors. Uh, you don't want that enabled generally. Uh, opens up a whole different can of worms there. And then you have the delete toggle, which allows you to d delete or purge to the keychain of all the passwords save with iTouch Secure. So very simple settings, not a lot here, not very well designed settings either, but that's neither here nor there. We're, we're worried about how this thing works with the fingerprints and the fingerprint sensor. So let me show you exactly what this does. I'm going to log into my 1Password app. Here's 1Password, it has a little password box, and you see right off the bat a little yellow box surrounding the master password login. And this indicates that iTouch Secure will work with this app. So I'm gonna put my master password in for one password. <laughs> Not very secure, but you see it in the four uh, characters there. And then I hit go, it'll log me in to one password. So I'm logged in and now that saves it. That's all I need to do. That saves it to the local keychain on your device. So now all I need to do is open up one password again. You'll see the thumbprint icon with the green flashing box. Just verify with Touch ID and bam, it auto submits your password. You don't have to type any, any passwords in. It pulls it in from the keychain and logs you in just like that. So all I do, literally you just place your finger on the Touch ID sensor. It will log you in to the app that you have set up with iTouch Secure. So that is super simple, super easy. I have lock on exit set. So it will automatically lock one password. That is just a one password feature. But if you're gonna use this one with one password, I recommend you have that set. So you can see how easy this is. It just pulls in the password from the keychain, logs you in. All you need to do is just put your finger on the Touch ID sensor and it does its work. So you can see why this tweak would be so beneficial. Any application that works with iTouch Secure, you can use it to automatically log in with your fingerprint using the Touch ID sensor. So this comes in handy with applications like, for instance, 1Password that do not allow you, obviously, for obvious reasons, to save your password within the app. This is super handy and, and pretty secure as well. Uh, uses the pre-configured Touch ID fingerprints that you have already set up with Touch ID, and then you can just log in. Now I've disabled the auto OK option, and I'm gonna show you what that does here. I'm gonna put my finger here, It'll automatically populate the password, but notice it didn't log me in automatically. That is what that feature allows you to do. So you can turn the auto OK on or off depending on your preferences. I of course think the tweak works best with it enabled. So I'm gonna enable it. Now this option here allows you to auto fill without Touch ID verification, which is kind of stupid. If you, if you have a Touch ID enabled device, you do not want to use this feature because it basically makes you makes it so you can just log in to the application without verifying Touch ID again. So I'm gonna show you how this works though. So I've turned the option on, you do need to verify with Touch ID to turn it on as I just did. Now when I open up 1Password, notice what happens. No verification needed, it just opens up automatically, no fingerprint, nothing. So even if I hit the little lock now button, it'll lock and open up automatically, instantly because it has the password, pulling it in from the keychain, but it doesn't need to do any verification before it does that. So I highly recommend that you keep that option off. Even if you don't have a Touch ID enabled device, I do not recommend using this tweak if you don't have a Touch ID enabled device because it's just kind of goofy to do that and risk uh, the security uh, potential threats from that. So um, let me show you something else here. Another little thing, I wanna put the device in a safe mode. This has kind of uh, been sort of controversial. If you place your device in safe mode, then this tweak basically will emulate what we just showed you earlier, having auto login enabled, uh, because it will not use the Touch ID verification with the safe mode enabled. Uh, so let me show you what I mean here. You do need to, of course, log in to your device just like that with Touch ID. So I did 
have to log into my device. I did have to unlock my device using Touch ID or the uh, passcode. But watch what happens here. First of all, let me just show you that I am in safe mode. I'm gonna open up Activator. You're gonna get this little error saying Activator is disabled because you're in safe mode. So just to verify we're in safe mode. Now I'm gonna open up 1Password and watch what happens. It will automatically log you in because you're in safe mode and because it cannot use the Touch ID verification with a safe mode enabled. So that is, um, I guess it can be deemed as a security hole, uh, potentially. Granted, you still need to log into your device at the outset. You still need to unlock your device, in other words, using either your passcode or touch ID. So I guess it's just gonna be up to you uh, whether or not you deem that to be a security flaw or not. I am kind of on the fence about this. I don't know, I don't think I would, deem it as a security flaw because you still need to log into your device. You still need to unlock your device using either Touch ID or your passcode to begin with. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. I wouldn't make that as a deal breaker uh, for this tweak just because, you know, when you're not in safe mode, you see it does require you to use your Touch ID uh, you know, log in. It does require you to verify with Touch ID. And if you're in safe mode, you still have to use Touch ID or your passcode to unlock your device. Now I know this has been quite the lengthy review, but a tweak like this deserves and it actually requires me to talk about all the, the potential security flaws and uh, the potential uses of this tweak. This is a great a jailbreak tweak. You can autofill passwords everywhere. You can authenticate with Touch ID for any password entry. Uh, you can authenticate even with Safari password autofill. Uh, it'll store passwords in an encrypted local keychain, not iCloud keychain, don't get it confused. And uh, this tweak, it, it works with uh, the App Store logins, it works with things like 1Password, it works with other applications, your bank, my Bank of America app works with that. And um, the only thing it doesn't work with that I've found is Cydia, and that's for good reason due to mobile st substrate and stuff like that. But you may be a little disappointed to find out that it doesn't work with Google applications and Google logins. So just keep that in mind if you're if you're purchasing this for Google or for Cydia, it will not work with those. But everything else it seems to work really well with, such as the App Store login or uh, One Password or Bank Bank account application. It works perfectly with those, and it is a real time time saver. You can find iTouch Secure on Cydia's Big Boss repo for $4.99 and I highly recommend it. I think the price is well worth it and it will save you a lot of time and it is very secure. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.